friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe this minimally edited surgery this is a cataract with genular dehiscence from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock 4 o'clock hours so first thing i do is i make an incision which is about 1.8 millimeter at around 7 o'clock and now i inject some transnolone acetate to see if there is any vitreous prolapse there is no vitreous prolapse next is i inject some visco at the area of genular dehiscence before Straining the anterior capsule. Now I inject an air bubble, and then I inject trypan blue dye over the anterior capsule. Since the area of genular dehiscence is plagued by viscoelastic substance, the dye doesn't go into the vitreous cavity, and if the dye goes into the vitreous cavity, we don't have any glow, red glow, and visibility becomes very poor. That's why this technique, plugging the area of genular dehiscence by visco before staining the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. And now the staining is not good. Let us see how to proceed. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. The anterior chamber is filled up with visco. And next is this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, I'm trying to do capsulorexis, cannot pierce the capsule because there is genular dehiscence with uterita. I cannot pierce the capsule. Take I take a sharp needle, and I try to. You now I have made an incision on the anterior capsule. Now I inject visco and then I hold the anterior capsule and try to do a small rexus. Small because if I try to do a large rexus at this time and if the rexus runs out, I will not have any other option than to do intracapsular cataract extraction. So here I did a small rexus and here I find that this something is this something is obstructing this is some membrane. Visibility is not good in this area. So I inject visco and try to paint the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. Before that, this is cleaning of some cortex from this area. And now I inject visco again. And paint the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye in this area. Then wash the dye. And this area is not taking a stain.
So what to do? Inject Visco. Take a Vana scissor. Make an incision here because the rexis is so small I cannot proceed. So I have to enlarge the rexis and for that I cannot enlarge on this side. I cannot enlarge on the side of genital adhesions. I have to enlarge where the genital is attached. So I I can see now, yes, it's quite good rexis, but on the smaller side. Size of this rexis may be about 4 millimeter, maybe even little less than 4 millimeter. But I cannot enlarge this rexis anymore. I have to manage with this. Before introducing the handpiece. I want to support the capsular bag with this, you know, with this capsular tension ring. And how to put this? We have to support the, you know, CTR by a sensory hook and then it goes in the bag, then gradually pull, push it inside the bag and we come to the other end. What to do now? I take another Sinsky hook and go into the anterior chamber and place this CTR in the bag. And now the bag is nicely supported and we can see that the rexis appears a little larger, maybe about 4.25 or 4.5 millimeter and it appears that I can manage the nucleus now. The nucleus is hard about grade 4 nuclear sclerosis and I am doing direct vertical chop. I got a nice crack. Then hold it in the adjacent area and get another crack. And hold the next area and get another crack. No free nuclear fragment till now. And here I find the endonucleus. So remove the endonucleus and then rotate the nucleus go to the adjacent area and now I get a free nuclear fragment and I remove the fragment using ultrasonic energy. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80%, flow rate is 400, flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. The bottle height is little less about 80 centimeter. This is the remaining part of the nucleus. And now I'm using the studio coaxial elimination and I get good red glow. Had I not blocked the area of genital adhesions while staining the capsule, this red glow would not be obtained. Nucleus is managed. 
before I come out, I stop irrigation, ask my assistant to inject Visco and it's done nicely. And then I remove the cortex going through the side port at 8 o'clock. Some more cortical cleanup is done going through the side port at 2 o'clock. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Anti chamber as well as the capsular bag is filled up with visco. And now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. It is folded using a butterfly cartridge. And now we are going to implant the lens. And now the axis is nicely visible. The CTR has, you know, work, working nicely and the area of dehiscence is not visible now because of the CTR. The main wound is enlarged to about 3.2 millimeter. And here goes the intraocular lens. We have to place the lens in the bag. And here it goes. The haptic is going to be placed here in this position so that the haptic of the intraocular lens gives extra support to the area of general adhesions. The centration of the lens is okay, acceptable. And I'm not planning any sioneering in this case. And now we're going to close the case. Before that, this is thorough cleaning of the interior chamber and the capsular bag. This is bimanual IA. Irrigation and aspiration is working together to clean the visco. And now, this is the final lavage of the interior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. This is a bit of moxif. No, this is canacord again to check finally if there is any vitreous strand anywhere. There is no vitreous strand. Though the lens at this time is not looking nicely centered, but this will give quite good vision to the patient. And since the remaining part of the journal is okay, I'm hoping that the lens will remain like this for many years and the patient will get good vision. Of final lavage of the anterior chamber. Air bubbles are removed. 
Plenty chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.